This is the new cell phone I'm going to be carrying around in all my RV travels this summer. It's said to be the smartphone of 2017, at least until October. The Samsung Galaxy 8 Plus came out in April along with a slightly smaller version, the Galaxy 8. It has a gigantic 6.2 inch screen, but it is all screen. It's called an infinity screen, a slightly curved screen. It goes from edge to edge. It's much easier to operate this phone one-handed than it is the big iPhone 7 Plus, which is the phone I used to use. There are all sorts of new items on this. There's a feature called Bixby. Bixby is Samsung's answer to Siri. It's kind of Siri grown up or Siri with a PhD. Well, the only problem is it isn't active completely on this yet. They're going to have to do an update and send that through later on. They rushed this out before Bixby was ready. Now the S8 and uh, the slightly bigger S8 Plus, uh, both of them are fast and they really are stunningly beautiful screens. They, the resolution is awesome on this thing. It uses facial recognition to unlock. You can look at it, it's uh, recognize your face and it will unlock it. You can also do it with your eyes, it'll read your eyeballs I guess. And of course it has a fingerprint reader. But on this one, the fingerprint reader is on the back of the screen. That's the camera lens and that is the fingerprint reader. Now you know, just know you're going to get all sorts of smudges on that, uh, on that camera lens right there because there's the fingerprint. Why'd they put it there? Well, the reason they put it there is because there's no like little home button here to get this edge to edge screen to screen resolution. They had to move that home button to the back and it's, uh, that's not a good spot for it, is it? When you take a look at all of the reviews, it really seems to be the look of this phone that has all of the tech world so agog. They just really like the way it looks. It does feel nice. It, that slightly smaller width makes it easier to handle than the big iPhone 7. But watch uh, all those tech reviewers change their mind come October. Because in October, iPhone is going to release the 10th anniversary of the iPhone. Can you believe that the iPhone is 10 years old? Anyway, in October, we'll see the iPhone 8, and you know that iPhone is gonna catch up and do their best to surpass Samsung. So if you're an Android user and you can update your phone at a good price, I say go ahead and get the 8 or the 8 Plus. But if you're generally happy with what you have, uh, or you're an iPhone user and you're wondering, should I get on this smartphone of the year thing? I say wait, because there'll be another smartphone of the year come October and that'll be from Apple. So what do you think? Use the comments below to share your thoughts, ask any questions that you might have, and also please subscribe to these videos. We put new videos up all the time, and if you are on our subscribe list, you'll get notice of them the next time there's new videos to watch. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me today.